Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome back to another reflection. So in today's gospel, Jesus acknowledges a poor widow who is giving very little but everything that she has. And Jesus values that so much and sees the magnitude of what she's done because she has given all that she had, even though it was very little. And in the eyes of Jesus, this woman has given more than anyone else. And so this reminds me of something very important. And this should remind us all of something very important. And that is to be faithful and loving in the very little that we have and in the very little that we give. And this precisely is what St. Teresa of Lisieux's Little Ways uh, was about. So St. Teresa of Lisieux knew that she was no Saint Augustine or she was no, you know, she was no uh, great rhetoric. You know, she was, um, she was very little. She knew how little she was. But she also knew that in her littleness, she can do it with great love. She can do the small things with so much great love towards the Heavenly Father. And funnily enough, she's actually the co-patron saint of mission. And so that shows you that even if you are faithful in the small things, if you do things with so much love and a compassion towards the Heavenly Father, if what is in your mindset is God before anyone else, in the small that you do or in the big things that you do, the Heavenly Father will raise you up just like he did to St. Therese of Lisieux. So it's very important that before anything or anything that we do, we have a pure heart, a clear heart with a clear direction. We must try and remember and, and know that what we are doing is ultimately for God, even in the small things we are glorifying God. And in the big things, we are glorifying God. And this is the kind of mindset, the mentality that we should be inspired to have by St. Teresa of Lisieux. The Monetaries of Calcutta has this great quote. And she says, not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. And so we are all built differently. We all have different capabilities, different charisms, different gifts. And we can't all, you know, for example, not all of us are called to that, uh, to, to that life of preaching. Not all of us have that gift of preaching. But at the same time, not all of us have that gift to sing. So whilst we all have these diff different capabilities and gifts, one thing that we all can do in common is to do the very little that we can with great love. And that is so important. You know, Jesus himself says in Luke's Gospel, that it is not what comes in that defiles a person or defies a person, but it's what comes out that defies a person. And so you doing the best you can in the very little that you can do is worth so much more to God than if you can do, if you can do something great, but with no heart in it. So in other words, if, if you're doing something so small, like, I don't know, if you're doing something small, but you are doing it, for God, if you're doing things as if you're doing it directly for God, Jesus values that so much. He treasures that so much. And that does not go past Jesus. And that's exactly what we see with the, um, with the widow today. You know, just imagine there are so many people in that temple, but Jesus' his eyes are on someone who's doing very little, who's giving very little, but giving all that she has with heart. So my dear friends, we can do everything, the small things. Don't be disheartened if some, if you're doing something like that looks small in comparison to someone that's doing something bigger. You know, don't feel disheartened by that. But in your humility, keep doing it, keep going forward. And in these small things, when you do it with great love, you know, for our Heavenly Father, you will be raised up. Jesus will raise you up and Jesus will give you the gifts, the charisms, he will bless you so much, so abundantly. But don't stop, don't lose heart if you feel like you're only doing small things, you know, because that is so valuable. That's like treasure in the eyes of Jesus. And so this is a unfortunate thing today, and that is this comparison. Unfortunately, some people, you know, compare, we sometimes compare ourselves to others and some people compare others to others, 
you know, and say, oh no, look at this person, he is or she is doing this, but look at him, he's preaching in front of the thousands, thousands of people, you know, but if there is no heart in anything, my dear friends, then we are not going anywhere with our ministry. If our Lord is not central and is not glorified, then the ministry that we do, whether it is big or small, it's pointless. And, um, you know, I remember one time, you know, a priest told me, you know, you can, you know, preach in front of thousands of people. You can have a mic, you can have speakers, and you can speak in front of all these people. But then if you cannot make the time to speak to just one person, then what use is there? You know, there is no point in being able to just speak to, to be able to speak to thousands of people, but you can't speak to one person who's in desperate need of Jesus. So my dear friends, Jesus himself says, be faithful in the small things, then you can be faithful in big things. So even in the small thing that you, are, that you do, if you are faithful in that, do it with heart, do it with passion, then likewise you will be faithful in the big things. So my dear friends, like I said, don't be disheartened if you feel like you're being compared to someone else and if you feel like you're not doing enough. Do the very little that you can, but do with everything that you have. You know, if the very little you can do is your maximum, then do that, but with all that you can do, with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. You know, and offer that to the Lord, and that for Jesus is worth more than treasure. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. Hope you have a great week ahead. God bless.